While I was there, something uh, happened. It was just about the end of the Great War. And there were prisoners from, uh, from There were prisoners from uh, prisoners of war. They came and constructed that to construct that road, which is you saw from Mupai going over the mountain to Worcester. They were doing that road. I made an investigation about it. I found that they were paid, being paid. 35 cents, while I and my boy were paid 25 cents. This worried me greatly. How can prisoners come and get more, more money in our own land? That's how I started to organize the road workers, which led to the strike of Mama's Berry. Because in that strike I didn't play much. Because I was also afraid of victimization. I was employed as sub for men. Whenever there is a complaint, they would ask, Are you also complaining? As my personal it was it. Then I started organizing the road workers in Mama's Berry. It was not a difficult job because then I was a foreman whenever I came to a crowd and addressed them. They knew me and suddenly submitted to my request of forming a union. I wrote a letter to Moltina. He was then a representative of the, of the African people in parliament then. I reported this state of affairs, where prisoners are getting more than ordinary citizens. But Moltina did not reply to my letter. He handed it over to Ray. Ray took my letter, replied to my letter, I sent him application forms and the constitution and asked me to form a union. Then I began, started to be interested in food workers. I was working in fish factories outside at, at, at Light Black. Then I started organizing food workers from that time. 